Hi everyone and welcome. This is the third day of the UX Design uh, Week, Adobe Live Show on Behance.net slash live. And this is uh, a show with uh, Madison Wolf. How are you today? Good. 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 Yeah. So this is uh, day three. You have been working yeah. already on uh, on Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, if you miss the episode, you can watch a replay on the Creative Cloud YouTube channel. Um, so maybe you want to quickly uh, introduce yourself and explain what you are working on. Sure. So, yeah. Let's do it. We will be um, live. Or two hours, okay, with Madison Rolf. Yeah, so my name is Matisse. I'm a freelance UI designer, and uh, yeah, for the past two days, we were working on this conceptual beauty app that is uh, focused in connecting the consumer to the talent directly, uh, regardless of the establishment. And uh, we tried to design the UX around in a way that um, is focused on. Um, the talent's uh, portfolio and it's make it easier for a consumer to review specific service that they get and it makes it easier for them to uh, make an appointment and uh, also pay for their services afterwards. Um, and the idea of this app came to us when we were like um, using the specific service with the talent and then they were leaving the salon and then we were like oh we wish we could have found them <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> which, I, which yeah. I think is like uh, a lot of people's problem um, and the app is uh, unisex uh, we got the name out of the community yeah, thanks the to the first community day is uh, gonna be a glam book, glam book. We even get the, we got the, got the logo. logo too yeah, yeah. <laughs> got the whole branding going and Chris <laughs> Allen <laughs> yeah designed yeah. the logo in good the job show. And then, um, yeah, today we did some wireframing and today we're going to focus on doing some more of UI, add some images and uh, make some prototype. Um, and I think that's going to be it. Yeah, I think uh, what we're going to do is to uh, uh, show a bit of the process we normally apply when we're doing visual design. So a little bit about the research, a little bit about uh, the way we're um, you know, researching photography imagery, um, even a little bit of the visual identity, mood boarding, um, and then also jumping into actual design work. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. And yep. we're going to do the whole design in the uh, XD and show how easy, easy it is to just make your mood board around um, your artboard and just grab stuff and put it in your uh, wireframes. Cool. Awesome. So I see we have people from. Uh, we have a Cassia from Poland. We have a Tezir watching from Iraq. Uh, we have also people from India. Yeah, thanks for watching. And also, it's your opportunity to ask questions. Okay, don't don't hesitate. It's the international live stream. <laughs> yeah, very <laughs> Even for us, very international. <laughs> um, so yeah, don't hesitate to ask questions about XD, UX design, how they work, how they deal with customers, like anything. Okay. Um, so I see on the screen the wireframe. So this is your screen, Madis. Yes. Yeah. This is the, the experience that we have so far. Yeah, so that's kind of where we left off yesterday uh, with the wireframes, uh, with the sign-up process and the whole onboarding. We uh, also fleshed out the discovery process for, um, for the categories or the services, mm -hmm. um, as well as the way you're going to view the different talent profiles in a feed and also the actual uh, talent profile, including the rating, a biography, um, as well as the actual services listed underneath in a portfolio grid that is broken up by uh, thumbnails, which is uh, thumbnails of the work, as well as reviews attached to that specific service. Okay. Um, and also, yeah, the calendar and the whole actual booking process is included as well. So what we're going to start to do now is to uh, dive into visual. Um, so if we switch to my screen, I'm just going to show a little bit of the research we've been doing for you know similar apps which is out there in the market. So what I did was that I was I was just googling basically beauty apps to just see what's done out there to kind of you know do a deep dive of, uh, of oh. what's what's out there. Interesting. Um, to get uh, get to know a little bit of uh, of the apps which is already available in App Store. Um, so yeah, and Mariam was asking, can they explain about the research part? So yeah, so this is what you are doing. So yeah, you go in the yeah. App Store. You check what's happening, you take what's some screenshots. Available? Yeah, I mean, this is kind of a light uh, research uh, phase. Of course, you can spend days and weeks on actually researching the market and uh, and not just even what's done, but also like see the interest level and everything and do servers, um, surveys. And um, and really, you know, you can really spend a lot of time on this. But for us, uh, we, we literally probably spent like a few hours yeah. on doing some research. Um, so what I did was basically downloading a few different apps that was related to the topic in App Store 
and uh, doing some screenshot of all the hero uh, moments in the app and also some of the onboarding processes uh, that the app came, came with um, and um, and just pasted everything into XD. Okay. So we have one here which is called uh, Mind Body and they have a splash screen with uh, Facebook Connect right away uh, or container with email. I kind of like the simplicity of that app screen actually. So it's something similar to where we're gonna do ourselves for, for our app. Um, they also have a little onboarding process where they have a mini tutorial, I guess you can call it, with um, uh, with a little uh, text bubble uh, above the, um, the the future or the, the category. Um, and then they have the category uh, based on, um, they have them in circles for some reason actually. Um, select the category and then you select um, the service. And then you would be able to see the different establishments that are providing the services. Mm -hmm. And then you would also see the profile um, for that specific service. And mm -hmm. then you can also add, um, I guess it's additional services Schedule. as well. I see, Schedule. I see Mariam is asking how to do survey. Are you like doing like a... Well, I think the times that it's been done, it's been done by the agency that I was working with. So I wasn't literally hands on doing it. But yeah. I guess they're literally emailing whatever users they have and mm. asking questions. A lot of clients that we work with, they have like a team of user experience. Yeah, we yeah for doing testing and everything. And yeah. They do it, they research it. So again, similar to, um, to our app, this also has a calendar view for the booking um, and the payment options um, and the final screen for adding your card. Mm -hmm. um, and then there was another app underneath there, which, which, was, which was basically kind of letting you uh, dive straight into the feed of uh, viewing the, um, um, the establishments, which is similar to what we wanted to do. We didn't want to actually uh, force people to sign up right away. Um, and again, you can kind of see the similarity to, um, to the pricing, the location here, styles. Everything is kind of done in a list view here. And then the filters, the actual profile itself. So this app would only allow you to basically call the establishment to make a booking. You couldn't really do the booking itself through the app, which is a little bit annoying. And that's something we wanted to avoid in the experience that we had. Um, and then it asked for the, uh, the login, which could be done by using a password or send a magic link. Um, and this is just basically your settings once you're signed in. Just include what the settings included on this app. And then this is a Barber app called, it's literally called Barber, <laughs> uh, that's the name of the app. Um, and again, it's very similar. It has a feed with the barbers or the barber shops. So you can here choose by filtering by individuals or establishments uh, with the tabs uh, at the bottom, uh, I mean at the top. Um, and then you have a profile with information and also booking, rating, and the map view to show the location. And then once you want to make a booking, it's gonna ask for your um, login screen or if you wanna make an account. Um, and then also the calendar for, to start to kick off the booking process. So I didn't include all of the different uh, screens in the app, just some of the hero moments to kind of like get the high level sense for uh, for the journey. So we can start on the daily stock and like yeah. look for some images. Yeah. Yes. So typically, what we want to do, or what we are normally doing when we're doing a process like this, is to do some visual research before we start on the UI work itself. Um, so we're going to be using Adobe Stock for um, for photography. We already have some photos in here, which is from Unsplash. So mm -hmm. it's going to be a little bit of a mix. Um, we also even have some UI work in here, which is taken off Pinterest. Um, so I'm not sure if uh, maybe you want to like yeah, I can do a little bit of research that. and maybe send me some photos, then I can plot them into my board and then we can go from there. Yeah. We can do. So we already have a shared library. credit card library, yeah. I think. <laughs> we, yeah, so we yeah, can use the sure. one from yesterday yep. that we shared already. And if you add uh, the previews to uh, the library with, uh, I think, the cloud icon, like here, the cloud, and you say, so if you click on uh, here, you can select the library. I think yesterday we had a Adobe Live library, no? Yeah, we have. Oh my god, you have a lot of libraries now. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, for all the apps. Where is what it? did we name it? Did we name it? Uh, for this specific yes, library? Maybe. Oh, Adobe Live. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. Okay. We did uh, not name and it I think Adobe it will Live, save it. So if you uh, select another one, so if we select this one, yeah, now it will directly be to Adobe Live. Oh, okay. So every time you will click, awesome. it will add it to the library. 
So you can like directly get them right now. Yeah, you should nice. be able to, to open the Creative Cloud library. I think it's in file. Invitations, there's two of them. Oh, it's the one we had yesterday. So you're, you're good. Like if you go in XD oh, and uh, you do file open Creative Cloud library, you will see it already. Like Rolf directly in XD, you you, you should oh, get it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. In file, open Creative Cloud library. It's uh, two down, to three down here. There we go. And yeah, here it is. Nice. There you go. So you can select that. Plot them out. Yep. And then let's also tap on the licensing that you showed last time. I thought that was really interesting. The way you can actually license these photos, and then it the the watermark just yeah instantly disappear. I so, think that was really beautiful. So what's good with uh, Adobe Stock is that. As you can see, you can select all the previews you want, like you don't care. Uh, you have a catalog of uh, 100 million pictures, so you should find some stuff. Yeah. So, you, and but if you if it happens that your customer says, "Oh, I really like the picture with the red hair," uh, but uh, uh, I'm ready to license it. Yep. You can license it in your Creative Cloud library, and if you use it in Photoshop, if you use it in XD, like everywhere, it will directly replace it with a high resolution version, high definition. We move the watermark. You don't have to do anything. Mm. But that in the case convenient. of a prototype, you don't really care. Like you can exactly, use, yeah. yeah. So it's more for presentation purposes later, if you want to uh, actually, or even like send off the app to uh, to the clients. <laughs> kind of makes sense to take them off. Uh, let's see if I got anything more here from you. Yeah, I'm adding. Oh, you're still adding. So many Neat. Yeah. Let's get so we have. Uh, May referring asking, I have a general question. Yep. The process and all the screen and stat that exist in every app, in all the apps that you see, you know. I want to know if uh, if a UX designer job come up with everything or we get the content from someone. Oh, okay. Uh, so you, for instance, I when you have a customer calling you uh, for a UX design mission, mm -hmm. um, in this case, they, they are looking at you working and you are pulling the content, you know, from stock, but yep. is it always the case or sometimes the customer will give you content and you can play with? Yeah, I mean, that really depends on the project and who you're working with. So if you're working with a big brand, they probably already have a lot of brand assets done, mm -hmm. uh, which is shot by a photographer and they just send you assets. Okay. Um, but if you're working with a client that is starting, starting from scratch, let's say you're working with a startup of an app and they don't have anything yet and they're on a minimal budget and you want to use stock photography. Um, then you might just include like a research process as you're working with them to um, to help them basically research and find content for them. Mm -hmm. Like we're doing right now, basically. Yeah. And sometimes you just put placeholder to give them like an idea of what it can be and they, they give them direction as far as how they can make those assets. Like even if they have okay. like a photography sessions afterwards, you can just give them directions of how you're thinking of wanting the app to look like to look like yeah like a creative direction yeah. in this case hmm. makes sense so i'm building out a pretty pretty nest here with uh with some stock photos they all look really good yeah it's gonna be hard so to pick some options here <laughs> yeah so now we have a good coverage for both barbers and um and i would say um here Maybe, if, is it possible to find anything for nails? I feel like that's a category okay. we're missing. And then again, just to refresh for people that are new and watching, uh, the categories that we were working on yesterday were basically um, haircuts, color, and styling, as well as nails. And again, it's for unisex, both uh, males and females. So we wanna keep it fairly neutral as far as the photography even goes. But I think like, of course, you're gonna have to use um, female or male in the shot. So I think they can they can be uh, be used with some variety on the go in the process. So we switch between them. We also have a new challenge today. We want some color scheme. Oh. We want a color, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're kind of been playing with blue for now, uh, but I'm not married to the blue, so we'd love some input on the color we're gonna be using throughout the design as we're designing out the app. <laughs> uh, but even uh, if people want to take a pass at category illustrations for the four categories we have, that'd be really cool yeah, as well. Yeah, if you guys want to like oh, start. Oh, illustrations. Like yeah. Yeah, let's do that. I think they're really fun. It would be, yeah. it would be more changing than the color. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So maybe you can show the, the four categories again? Yeah, sure. So what we had going on so far in our design is basically, and the thought process behind this branding was to do some um, icons that is a little bit different 
than the typical outline icons you would see. So these are done with a brush in Photoshop. Um, and again, these are the four categories or services that is available in the app. So, you know, you can feel inspired by looking at what we have going on. You can start completely from something that looks completely different than this. Uh, but I think it'd be really cool to get some input as far as these four uh, for services and get some illustration work uh, coming in from, from the audience. Mm -hmm. So haircut, color, styling and nails. Okay, if you want to create uh, icons with a cool style and uh, share them with us, fi find a way to share them. Yesterday, I mean, it worked for the logo. Yep. And you paste uh, the link in the chat, okay? So let's see, did we uh, find anything for nails? Yeah, we did. Sweet. Got something going here. Black nails. Nice. Black on black? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. And then this is... Black like Madis today. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you didn't get the, yeah. the memo, Ralph. Oh, wait. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I got, I got blue today. Memo. Yeah. It's a good thing it's a green screen and a blue screen behind us because <laughs> it would just be like, whoop, going through me, you know? But, yeah. Um, Next time. Okay, so some more nails. Yeah, I mean, we're starting to, uh, to get some good assets going here. So I think, like, we're getting close to start comping, but... I love um, the fact that you can put your images on the right there. Yeah, and again, like at the end of this, all um, in the same place. At the end of this session, we're also gonna show a project we did together in, in XD from scratch, uh, which was Thanks. for uh, for a movie website uh, a few months ago, uh, where we kind of did the same process of just kind of screenshotting uh, footage from the trailer and uh, and comping oh, with nice. the with the footage uh, outside of the artboards. What is the next one? Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, it's nail. Well, so we have haircuts, which I think we've fairly covered. We have um, for guys, it's also barbers, by the way, um, which we also feel. I feel like we really have covered here, and then we have coloring. I'm not sure if we really covered coloring as far as the image already goes. So maybe, I mean, you know, this might be coloring. Yeah, but could be. Yeah, potentially. Mm -hmm. I mean, you never know. We can uh, we can definitely look for a few more options if you. Uh... Oh, there is some color for here. Yeah. Here. <laughs> yeah. Let's bring it in. Which option? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's good. When did you guys uh, start with Adobe Stock, Michael? So, good question. I think Adobe Stock so it is the result of the acquisition of uh, Fotolia, which mm -hmm. is a French company. Yeah, no, I used um, it before, yeah. And um, huh. I would say two years ago. Two years ago? I, yeah. I went to the opening. Oh, you yes, yes, you did in New York, York City. Museum. Yeah. She Whoa. did. She got a cup and everything. Yeah. It was so cool. With the logo on. Yeah, yeah. it was like a very cool opening. Let me check the date. Yeah, it was uh, yeah two years ago. Oh no, 14. three years ago. Three years ago. So it's been a while. Yeah. Yeah, that we acquired, and six months after, it became Adobe Stock. Like, nice. It was super fast. It yep. was already integrated with the tools. Uh, in the meantime, we have so at the beginning it was just uh, pictures and illustrations. Then we added uh, videos, 4K videos. We added uh, 3D objects now, 3D texture, 3D lights. And That's we have true. just wow. released uh, templates. So you Beautiful. can find also template file for Photoshop, InDesign, uh, motion graphic templates mm. for uh, Premiere Pro. Yep. So you have motion designers, you know, creating, creating like uh, fancy titles. Yeah. And you open it in Premiere Pro and you can change the text, the color, the speed, and, um, and you have a professional title. That's amazing. So yeah, it becomes a huge marketplace. And the good news is that anyone can contribute. So if you are a motion designer, if you have an illustrator, if you are a photographer, you can contribute to Adobe Stock and monetize your content. So Adobe Stock actually, they care a lot of different assets. It's not just photography, it's everything from illustrator files Every to- Every creative file. Yeah. yeah, wow, that's amazing. And there will be more and more, um, like we are working on more and more categories and, uh, and uh, file types. Um, we are also working with uh, Adobe Sensei, which is the artificial intelligence engine mm. to understand what is in the picture. So when you upload the picture, it will tell you, uh, oh, there is a dog, there is a, a red plant. Like it can already describe the picture, mm. uh, which also improves uh, the search. And you have also what we call the creative search. So you can say, um, 
Oh, maybe we can try. Let's try this. Yeah. Uh, oh, this is interesting because I, I came from features. the old days back in uh, with iStock Photo and Shutterstock and they don't have any of the files. You know what I no. mean? Like you can't really download. So this is really powerful with Adobe Stock. Yeah, it's, it's more and more you can, so you can change your attention, but also the depth of field. So if you want something with a blurry background, so it will analyze the picture and uh, yeah, like in this case, uh, Adobe Sensei knows that there is a blurry background like here or here. So you have depth of field or you say, no, I want something like super sharp or just uh, a little bit of uh, background and then now it's sharper and you have uh, vivid colors also if you want to pictures that are not very uh, saturated again it will analyze the pictures and here you know start mm. to have like a low saturation picture or the opposite i want something like super saturated and choose do you want to include people or no and now no, it's crazy you know, it's <laughs> yeah well, the so. filtering here is very good yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, and, and this is using sensei so this is all these integrations that we're doing uh, there is color also like if we decide that the color theme is uh you know, like pinky you can do this and it will try to to find colors with pink. Beautiful. Yeah, we were really like waiting for something, you know, to take over for uh, <laughs> so I stuck photo and shutter stuck photo. We were so tired of those sites, <laughs> and this is so much better, so much smarter. Yeah, we did some studies with our users, and we discovered that uh, the search engine is one of the most important thing yeah. when it comes to uh, discovery, stock and discovery. Yeah. yeah. Uh, because the catalog, so we have like 100 million pictures. We have more and more so because all the credit of critical users can contribute hmm. but at the end of the day you want to to find the right picture so that's why we are working on this new generation of filters search engine and uh, yes to narrow it down yeah yeah beautiful and there is more coming but yeah, yeah. Uh, I see there is a question here about uh, prototyping and at what point we're potentially sharing it with a client in the process I guess that's the question mm -hmm. um, I typically show the gray boxing with my client just to kind of get an idea of the the way we're containing content and laying it out and what's going to lay where, um, and then build a prototype from that, mm. um, and then going into UI and then even prototyping the UI. So it's kind of like doing two different prototypes. So you do one for the gray boxing and then one for the actual design itself. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, it really depends. Sometimes there is clients coming and they already did a prototype themselves or they did the wireframes themselves. And then it's just kind of more jumping into the UI straight away. So again, it depends on the project. It's showing yeah, that looks nice. I think we're starting to have a good chunk of uh, variety here with, uh, yeah. with everything. So uh, okay, maybe uh, there we go. Yeah, that's definitely coloring, all right? Look at that. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, yeah, so. a good one. <laughs> it's very literal. Yeah, very literal. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, the, the, the thing I like about this board and the fact that you can just, you know, place all the imagery that you're finding into like an open board like this is literally like you're having a whiteboard in a room. Oh, yeah, it's And true. you can start to compare all the different styles and you can start to really narrow down the art direction and the direction you want to go in visually. Um, so as you can see here, there's quite a lot of variety with, uh, with the direction we're going into, which is, you know, something w a little bit more retouched and polished to something which feels a little bit more raw and shot, you know, straight off the bat and in, in, on the location uh, to something a little bit more artistic and crazy that, you know, might be a little bit more in a question mark as far as the art direction the branding goes. Um, and even just kind of pasting in, this is a video from you, work for them, um, a stock Ooh. video um, with the link just so you kind of memorize the link itself um, along with uh, the visual. Um, and yeah, and then we have all these other varieties that we just kind of pasted in here right now for the different categories we have. So it's, uh, it's a great way to kind of get going on, uh, on our visual direction. So since we've been doing quite a bit of uh, research now for photography, um, normally what we are doing at the same time is also to do a little bit of discovery for topography. Oh, nice. Um, so these are a few different pools that we found online um, just to kind of like start to compare and play with the idea of what kind of typefaces we can use. Um, in this process, we're trying to think about the, the industry and the topic, of course, for or the subject for the app, which in this case is going to be editorial and a little bit fashion-y since it's, uh, it's a beauty app. 
Um, so we're trying to stay bold and strength, uh, trying to stay editorial with the typeface itself. Um, some of these are, you know, getting a little bit crazy, but they're creative, so it's worth, you know, bringing into the conversation. Um, and um, yeah, I mean, this is kind of like a blend of doing research on uh, Typekit, which is connected to your creative uh, cloud service, uh, Pinterest, and a few other services that we're looking through. Uh, I think the font that we're kind of going for in, in this direction was Vanguard. Mm -hmm. uh, which is a very try. bold and, uh, and cool font. Again, if you guys have any um, uh, recommendations for fonts you guys want to yeah. try us to use in, in the too. layout work, then definitely uh, let us know. Uh, we look for a book and then we show you a, a new feature we have yeah, last week. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Go for it. Yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you can always like use the type kit. Typekit is beautiful, and also the good thing about Typekit is the fact that um, it's gonna be, uh, you know, web ready, so you can use them for web yeah, and apps right away. Um, it's a part of the it's a part of the Creative Cloud, so you can just sync them right up and, and use them in all the all the Creative uh, Cloud softwares right away. Um, so I think. I think after, I don't know, do you want to add anything to this uh, topography research? Well, also, if you guys have any um, any opinions about stuff you want to you wanna add to this uh, to the topography section, definitely uh, let us know and you can paste it in there as well. I think we should do like, a, maybe start like with the, putting the images in and then like play with the topography. Yeah, we can do that. We go. Yep. The first time I, I will uh, use it, so maybe oh yeah, on your phone. Maybe it cool. will fail. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> let's try it. If it fails, I apologize. <laughs> Should you download the app or something? For yeah. Him? So I've downloaded an, an app. Uh, it's a free application called Adobe Capture. Nice. And Adobe Capture is directly connected to uh, your credit card libraries, so it can be read at any time so capture you can use it to capture uh, shapes uh, so you take a picture and it will create a vector shapes or if you draw something uh, you can capture colors so colors it's uh, super easy like if you look at um, uh, a poster or anything it will directly uh, you see like capture the colors the dominant colors of uh, what you are pointing and you can say okay I want to make sure to pick this one I want to make sure to pick this and to pick this blue. That's really cool. Yeah. And you have a color theme that uh, you can save and uh, in a Creative Cloud library, or you can still edit it and uh, directly use it in all the apps Photoshop, Amazing. Illustrator, InDesign, After Effects. Um, but what I want to show is that now we have something new that I wanted to try called Type. So if there is a type that you like, like I like the energy of this type, okay, let's. Okay, how does it work like this? Align the text uh, and tap the shutter button to capture. Okay. Align one of the text. Okay, this one. Use the crop handle. The first time I'm using it, okay? Use the crop handles to select the characters you want to capture. Uh, okay. These ones? I don't know. Deal with it. <laughs> okay, so, and it will directly uh, browse um, Typekit to show me the typefaces nice. available that have the same uh, mood, you know, energy. Characteristics to it. Yeah. Uh, such as uh, Scholar, for instance, looks good. Uh, yeah. Especially when it's uh, condensed like this. Yeah, this one looks very good. So I can say, okay, this is this one. And I can try to see, you know, how it behaves. With the leading, I can change the text. Uh, so if my title is a glam book. No, and I want to, to see how it would behave with a glam book. Mm. So literally kind of like you saying Typekit when you're searching for fonts, but yep. on your phone as you're scanning through. Yeah, that's, that's And then nice uh, when I save, I can say, okay, I want this character style with this font in all my Creative Cloud apps. And the next time I'm, I'm using uh, XD or Photoshop, uh, it will sync the font from Typekit and mm. I can use it. Wow. So. Yeah, I really invite you to, to try this one type. Yeah. First time I was trying it, so. The future. Yeah. Live demo. Yeah. You have to download that app. Adobe Capture. Yeah. People already like it, they were saying on the app. Yeah? That they're using it. They're, they're using it, yeah. In. Probably for yeah. colors. Uh, it's very useful or to capture shapes. There is nice. someone asking if they can submit a logo. I would say, of course. Yeah, I, if you want to. Yeah, we picked one yesterday. Um, 
that want a subscription, right. but keep it coming. yeah, keep it coming just for the sake of uh, inspiring the app for sure. Um, so I think we're gonna dive into the actual design for the app a little bit here. I'm just showing some of the groundwork we were doing earlier mm -hmm. uh, for actual design, and this is kind of what we're gonna go for when we're actually designing the app. And hopefully, it's gonna look like this at the end of the session. <laughs> um, or better. Or better. Um, so let's dive into it. I'm just gonna go down to the wireframes that we had at the bottom here from yesterday. Um, and then I'm just gonna create a new artboard. At the bottom here. And I'm gonna call it, I'm actually just gonna take this, copy it down, call it UI design. And again, you know, now it, this, this whole file is starting to get fairly large and there's a lot of stuff going on, so I'm gonna clean it up. If I were to send this to a client, I would, of course, delete all my, or separate all my, uh, all the research work that I was doing into a, a separate uh, XD file. And uh, yeah, just keep it clean with the actual design work um, as that would be sent off. This would be the splash screen. And uh, we did a few different studies for the splash aesthetic, uh, everything from playing with uh, Masking a potential video shape inside of mm, uh, nice. of a shape uh, with color, with different uh, colors, uh, blue and uh, and red. Uh, you know, playing with uh, with you know, this is more when we had a uh, demo name called Stylized before Glambook. So that's why it's a half an S. <laughs> um, and also just kind of playing with photography, which is contextual to <laughs> hair and beard. That's funny. That's um, cool. And this is again just a brush in Photoshop, um, simple lines, but also playing with the idea of like having simple vector lines instead of a brush. Um, so we kind of went in two different aesthetic uh, directions um, for the UI itself. Um, so let's let's start on the splash screen. Let's um, do a shape and uh, kind of head in the direction that we were uh, planning for yesterday when uh, we were talking about just having a. Uh, a photography so let's maybe think about a photography we can use for for the splash based on the stuff we were researching on on top here so the handy thing with just having all your photography um, in the same place as you're working is that you can just kind of copy paste it into into the mask mm. um, and it's quick so let's say we want to do I don't know I don't know which one I want to do and again this could also be something that would change yeah, Since it's is. unisex, it, do, it doesn't need to be a guy or a girl. It could be something that would circle, or potentially even a video, or a half half. <laughs> there you <we> go. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. Maybe you wanna, maybe you wanna share some of the library uh, elements that we were jamming on a little bit earlier. The one we I found right now. The, the stuff that we have in Photoshop potentially for the splash screen. With the lines on them oh. for this for the splash. If you go to if you go to your Photoshop and you should probably be able to oh, the see library? the libraries that I was sharing with you. And then Windows. Libraries. Libraries. Yeah. Under layers. Here we go. There you go. And you can oh. click on the green here because. Yeah, I think you got. Yeah, because you were on a bigger screen before, I think. Yeah. Okay, so I have a lot of libraries. <laughs> 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 I think it should be called Glam Book Icons. Um, yeah. There you go. Oh, here we go. So, this one is. Yep. Maybe we start something from scratch, like a. We um, can, for sure. Yeah. Or we can even do it on some of the stock photos that we found on Adobe Stock, potentially. <laughs> this one is really funny. This one too. <laughs> and also, capture you know, is dope. We, we, yeah, capture is dope. It is really, yeah, it's really cool. So we ask our friends also to create and share a prototype. Yes. The, the theme of the day is entertainment. So do you want nice. to review some uh, prototypes? So the first one is called uh, Nearby. 
discover the entertainment around you and book the tickets for movies and concerts okay so let's let's see how it goes uh, so we have the movies concerts gorgeous okay small typo okay not a big deal <laughs> I can book okay it's booked nice, nice. and I can see more oh. there's a navigation there as well that is available yeah clean. yeah it's very clean looks good looks yeah it works nice prototype oh with the oh, with the blur yeah. the blur yeah. faster yeah. effect good job we also have fear the fears okay so let's see what's going on enter mm -hmm. your mobile number sign in mm, that's nice i like the separation here sign up now discover fears listen to the forest oh audio file yes fears family the map icons. you can zoom in oh adobe san francisco yeah mm -hmm. oh there we are how nice. did you know this is exactly <laughs> where that's we are sneaky. Yeah. <laughs> this app is tracking me already. <laughs> Sent his call for actions. Cart. Yeah, 22 screens. Oh my god. You are fast. <laughs> then we have another prototype, VS TV. So I guess it's a smart TV experience, maybe? Yeah, with the chat. Do we really see? can search yeah, nice completely different type of experience in TV it could be uh, looks like a, or maybe maybe a Windows app actually it looks like yeah. what Daniel was doing and turn me on oh wow okay. that looks cool Ooh. animation even. level one. Oh, it's a game good job press more in level two okay oh yeah it was harder okay <laughs> level four it's a very good game. Mm -hmm. game over. Okay, it's a great game. Thanks. <laughs> Old sinners. Okay, loading. Oh, it's loaded. Nice. It's a bit like your splash screen, you know, when you draw a top of features. Oh, yeah, with the uh, stuff on it. Yeah. yeah the new Star nice. Exploring. Nice. Oh, here I am. <laughs> I am the new what? Oh, Michael. Uh, I don't know. Terror Swift. I'm next to Terror Swift. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, it's clean, huh? It's cool. Yeah, it's really yeah cool. I like the way the topographer is breaking with the ships and everything. It's yeah. cool. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, keep sharing. And at the end of the show, we will ask you uh, which one is your favorite one. Usually, we pick two with you. Because yeah. Yeah. We yeah. always yeah. receive yeah. so, like, they are all good already. That's the yeah. thing, right? They're all so, so hard. good. It's hard to pick. So I'm, yeah. so I'm hard to grateful pick. that so we can actually be allowed to pick two of them. Makes it slightly easier, <laughs> but still hard. Um, so yeah, let's continue on the design process for the splash screen. I'm just gonna finish off my box here. Um, and then just make sure that I got the measurements right. It's 20 pixels, so it's 90 on the side there, that's off. Just gonna be a little bit picky about that and make it make it right right away. So I'm just holding down Option key to make sure that I get the pa uh, passionation for my box uh, with the smart guides corrected. And I see here it's a little bit off. There's 20. And that's gonna be our photo. And then I'm gonna make a CTA. I'm literally just gonna use the same shape, copy it, and uh, scale a little bit down. Do something like this. And then I'm gonna use the same padding, 20. Uh, let's move it a little bit too high. I'm gonna maybe make it, let's see, height 60. Yeah, Sounds pretty sweet. Oh yeah, Tanev was asking, yeah, if you have a full red on the screen, then the live stream software goes crazy. So yeah, we try to avo avoid the full red. <laughs> it, it does a crazy effect uh, with a glitch. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, for now, I'm going to go with the blue color uh, you see that the I red? have my swatches. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, select it. Yeah, select it, and you will see what it does. That's in the wild. Oh, yeah, wow. click on this. Ah, it's weird because in the UI, it looks okay, but here it yeah. does crazy. On the small screen, it's like this. Why is that? So I think it's. Um, <laughs> It's used by uh, broadcasting software to mm. when something is forbidden. They just put some red. Oh, yeah. Just to tell that, yeah, it's, 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 uh, there is some legacy here. Yeah. And I'm trying the to avoid that. The uh, technician nodding in the back here, so yeah, he's, yeah, uh, he's agreeing with us. The There's nothing we can do. Yeah. Um, but let's go with the blue we have for now, and then again, if you guys oh, have any... Oh, it's the green uh, screen. Oh, yeah. Is that working out okay? Well, the blue actually is working. No issues with the blue color. Hi, Lee Cooper. 
<laughs> Thanks for joining. And then I can't remember what I was writing actually on top here, so I'm just gonna copy this this text. I think we're using like a weird word. Um, we're talking about coming up with a coming up with a text that was kind of explaining the app. And to be honest, I'm not sure if this is really explaining the app, but. You need a copywriter. I need a copywriter. Justin, if you're watching, please call me because mm -hmm. I need some words. <laughs> um, and then let's use Vanguard as the font. It's mm -hmm. a font that I got off um, You Work For Them. And as we're posting this project later on, I'm going to include the font as well. I'm going to do it bold and I'm going to do it black. Yeah, so you will share the project as well? We will. Yeah, so we're going to post nice. uh, at the end of Are the day, as we're uh, wrapping up this, we're going to do it as a Behance project, include all the videos for all the different three days oh, that we had, awesome. and include the source files as well so people can grab them and Do have you a guys look. post it anywhere else? Or is it yeah, Behance? actually, we have Adobe Live Team uh, Behance account also. Yeah, but we can. If you put yep. us as a co owner, uh, co -owner then yep. it will oh, also yeah. appear on our wall. So. For sure. Yeah, we'll awesome. definitely do that. Yeah. So make sure to, to follow. Uh, Madison Wolf on Behance and also the Adobe Live Team account. And uh, yeah, you will get access to uh, the project file. Yeah, thanks for sharing. Awesome. Conventionalize yourself. You, I'm not sure if that's the Use right lobster. word. Use no, lobster. No, 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 no. Lobster? No, 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 no. <laughs> Michael, what is your deal with lobster? Come on, it's a great fun. Let's have fun with lobster. No. No, 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 it's not. It's not a good um, fun. No, it's... Let's, uh, let's use shrimps. <laughs> The shrimps. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a shot yeah. from Adobe yeah. here. You can say lobsters and you cannot say shrimps. 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 That's, that's not cool. It's no logic. No logic <laughs> I'm gonna paste this, uh, this girl with this amazing uh, hair color in here. So lobster, I'm very sick of the lobster font because you know it started to become a free font in, uh, yes. you know, for the web and also in the world, I think, in Microsoft. <laughs> So a lot of people were using it, especially in Paris. Uh, and I don't know if it's the case for you, but if I see a restaurant and if they're using lobster font, I, I don't go inside. <laughs> like seriously, like There's I don't even check the menu. Aesthetically <laughs> offended right away and like, yeah, the food is probably not even good in here because they don't have a taste for topography. No, seriously. I, yeah. I, I don't know if it's, it's the case thing. for you. But oh, I they pick, go together. I pick yeah. restaurants based on the typography. No, it's sure. Thing. I agree. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Because if I'm like yeah. okay, if they have enough test to pick a beautiful typeface just on the, you know, like on the outside, they then have good taste. they have good taste, so they should cook uh, good food. Yeah. <gasps> no lobster, please. Ah, thank you, Jeffrey. Yeah. You got some support on that. <laughs> <laughs> put this in the middle there. Get stylized. Maybe make that a little bit smaller. So Something Lee Cooper, like who is in the chat, she's running the Adobe Live program with me. So if you have any suggestion, any feedback on Adobe Live, maybe people you want to see featured, any topics you want to cover, that's your time, OK? Just uh, throw your ideas in the chat. We're here to listen, and uh, we are building this program with you. This is for the community, so don't hesitate to provide feedback. Yeah, if you guys have any comments uh, or recommendations for topography, colors, um, any additional yeah. categories you want to see, uh, really anything you guys want to influence on the approach that we're having, feel free to drop it into the chat and we're going to adapt as we go. Uh, title, explore, and uh, let's see if we can open some of the... Um, some of these illustrations here. So uh, shout out to my uh, good friend, uh, Daniel uh, Spacek for helping out with some of these uh, nice brush icons. Oh. Uh, thanks, thanks a lot Daniel. for your help. I'm gonna try to use some of them for, um, for that right now. I'm just gonna slice that up. I'm actually gonna get even more uh, needy on them. So I'm gonna make it into a smart object to make sure I get the edges right. Click into the smart object and then save it out. And then do navigation. Okay. And then head back into XD and then just drag it into the tool. There we go. I know that there is a different approach to do this as well, Michael, that you were showing uh, yesterday. Yeah, Maybe we want to refresh on that as far as uh, getting uh, elements from Photoshop straight into. Um, yeah, you can into use XD. the libraries, but I mean, at the end, you know, it's uh, 
is the same. Libraries is good if you know that you will work on again on the design of the icon. Exactly. To so if you it. modify it in Photoshop, then it should be updated. In yeah. But uh, here, I mean, you already asked your, your designer to work on it, so you can yep. just drag and drop the file. For sure. Um, yeah, that's that's perfectly fine. It's approved. <laughs> I approve this workflow. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna. So Roman, you want a job at Adobe? Okay. Yeah. No. So what do you want to do first, and where do you live? <laughs> this will have a big impact on my answer. Oh, they said the girl with the purple hair looks like me. Yeah, that's, oh, that's really? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. That's true. It's there Mattis, are some of the uh, same features here. Mattis with right. a wig. I mean, yeah, minus minus hair color, yeah, but it's uh, it it's photoshopped. It's photoshopped. It's his <laughs> clothes. Yeah. It's actually. Uh, Modify this shape a little bit. We'll see what it can here. And you see how a wolf has has been influenced, you know, taking pictures. Yeah. Or maybe yourself. No, I, I that was uh, actually so random. <laughs> so I'll take this away. Okay, Roman, you live in Chicago. You want to be part of the XD team. Okay, so the XD team—they are quite easy to find, actually. So uh, you should start being uh, very active on user voice on the XD.UserVoice.com. Explain what you want to do. Is it on the design side, on the developer side, and uh, try to identify who are the members of the XD team like Tallinn, for instance, and uh, directly chat with them, maybe on Twitter. Make this funny. <laughs> Jeffrey, you want to extend your remaining four days of trial for free. What feature is that, please? I think it's called subscription. It's a feature where you can subscribe. Uh, let me check something, actually. Because I've heard about yeah. something internally, but I don't know if it's public, so I need to check first. So in the categories, okay, let's hide. Here it goes. And let's make that 16. Probably a small reduction. Yeah, so in the case of, uh, no, I don't want to share it. In the case of Adobe XD, you have two um, uh, two choices. So either you are a Creative Cloud member, and uh, we have so many plans. Uh, we have the student plan, we have the Creative Cloud uh, full plan where you can access all the apps. But there, there is also one plan if you are purely a UX designer, uh, which is the single app plan. Okay. And usually when you subscribe for a single app, such as, uh, I know, like uh, InDesign, it's about $19, $19 per month, where the full plan is $50. So you, if you use more than two apps, just go for the full plan. But in the case of Adobe XD, uh, we have a special plan. If you just want to subscribe to Adobe XD, it's less than $10 per month. It's uh, $9.99. So, I mean, it's great. Uh, he, because if you are a UX designer, uh, my guess is that you will make at least ten dollars per month. Otherwise, you should reconsider <laughs> your job. Um, and then you have a tool you can share with customers, get feedback, work with developers, exchange with other designers working in Creative Cloud. You have access to everything. So make sure to check the plans. Um, this is great. This is just for XD. Um, so yeah, yeah, I think it's awesome. Oh, there was a question by Brian. How many apps, Creative Cloud apps, do you use? Yeah, you can answer in the chat. But uh, it's like, which app do you use? I Creative mostly Cloud? use Photoshop, uh, Illustrator, InDesign sometimes. Sometimes InDesign. Animate. I do like a UI. Animate? Oh, you do UI animations animation in Animate? And oh, animate. interesting. And XD. And XD. So five apps. Yeah, so far. Mm -hmm. No video? No. Mm, not your not thing? <laughs> no photography? <laughs> Oh yeah, um, Lightroom. Lightroom I also. Use Lightroom. Ah, okay. So six apps. Cool. And I heard you guys uh, updated Lightroom yeah, recently, some and some yeah, some really good yeah, stuff. Big update. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I haven't checked the new ones yet. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you should check because it's awesome. The uh, the thing. Is, so Lightroom is a product that we released, uh, I think, ten years ago. Uh, it really became the standard. Now it's number one. Like all professional photographers use it, but it's a desktop-based workflow. You know, so it's we really assume that you have all your files. You know. On a, 
on your drives, desktop and everything. When today you can have a workflow where um, the cloud is where you store your pictures. You know? So, um, and, and today we take pictures with uh, okay. iPhones, with uh, DSLR, everything. Uh, but every time you will work, we will make sure to sync the full resolution in the cloud. But then you can work uh, and edit pictures on your mobile, in a browser, with the desktop, the new Lightroom, uh, Lightroom CC desktop app. And all the edits, everything will be synced in the cloud and like and everywhere. And you can share your pictures with uh, again customers, get some feedback, or share them with your family. Um, and they and like XD, they started building a new um, UI from scratch. So it's super fast. Performance is awesome um, because <laughs> when we started designing Lightroom back in the days, you know we it's very hard to anticipate that you will get like a 50 megabytes uh, picture yeah. one day. Uh, so <laughs> at the end, uh, the engine was like, wow, okay. Uh, so we're still improving the performance of the Lightroom uh, desktop version. Mm. Now it's called Lightroom CC, like classic, mm. but the new Lightroom CC is uh, cloud-based. Mm. Uh, and there is a, yeah, a technology where I can edit actually on my phone a 50 megabyte picture because the picture is in the cloud. But when I do all the edits, it's automatically synced mm. with uh, nice. Yeah super impressive and, and it's very very easy to learn oh man I so if you have uh, been a little bit scared by the previous lightroom ui we really invite you to try the new one the new lightroom cc super easy to learn super fast um you have for instance live previews of all the settings and it's very very well designed so yeah we invite you to try and let us know we will probably have a adobe live event on photography with photographers so we will uh, feature everything Yeah, it looks great. Huh? With these pictures. So I, uh, by accident, move this a little bit. I'm gonna move uh, it back. It's typical. I'll just make sure it's aligned on the side here. The line okay, Mariam has a question. Let me. Sorry if I miss some questions. Okay, Mariam. 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 Mariam is crying. Oh, it's not a question. Oh, please somebody answer me. How do we send assets to developer to use like all icons? Okay, so. Uh, <laughs> So I will give you an answer today and you can come back in a few Adobe Live events and maybe I will have another answer. But today, um, developers, they need two things. That's what I would say. They need uh, visual assets, yeah. if you do UI design, and they need to understand uh, where an icon is placed, like dimensions, position, this type of information. Yeah. Uh, so today, to get this type of information, to export assets, it's super easy, Miriam. You, you, you click on any element on the screen, you do Command E or Control E to export, and you choose SVG, um, PNG. Actually, I will show you something that is really cool. So you select really anything, you do Command E, and you can select PNG and say, is it for the web, iOS, or Android? So why this is that if this is for a developer for iOS, you will have to export and also scale it by two or three to uh, manage, in this case, uh, retina display screens, okay? high density screens. Or you can select SVG and it will be vector. Okay. PDF, it's more for review. Okay, If you want a customer to add comments and stuff uh, or print uh, what you are working on. And you can also export uh, the screens or you can export everything each screen directly, you unselect everything, you do common E and you export as PNG, for instance. And then when it comes to getting the dimension and the position, what I would do is just uh, share the XD project uh, with the developer today. I think it's the easiest way. Yeah, actually, uh, when we were uh, <coughs> doing the website with um, oh, a yeah. student LA recently, we just sent off the XD files and he was able to pull all the elements he needed out. Um, without actually any questions. It never bounced back. So really? It's a good sign. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it seemed that it was uh, really something that was easy for him to understand and, uh, and adapt to, which is good. Uh, and I mean, this, this, the way you save out assets from XD is not too, uh, yeah, it's too different than yeah. any other Adobe tool. Yeah. Um, uh, subscription is not free. No, Jeffrey, but yeah. Don't work for free, Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> Send out some prototype yeah. and win it. Yeah, and your XD design, if you work for uh, customers, it has some value, UX design, so don't work for free. Somebody is asking what is the most interesting project I've worked on. Yeah. I think 
like um I think Glambook. 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 <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> I worked with this uh for this project, uh Lionsgate that was very for me it was very cool. But I haven't posted online yet. I'm gonna do it next week. It was um still in working so I couldn't like post it. But um yeah, I really liked it because it was like a different experience for me and mm. um just like the finding the asset, working on it was like a uh, cool project to work on but I also have some personal project that I worked on that was kind of like it the personal project they become interesting after a while because you can do whatever you want and nobody's like telling you what to do and they don't change the process and like it's everything is on you and you can do whatever you want so I really like some of the project I did just for myself because um, you can just like Go create explore. a bit, yeah. Explore and like experiment with it. And uh, those are available in your behance, right? You can uh, yeah, see I, most I of them on your Yeah, I have like some on behance, um, but which I is available here, isn't it? Is that well, the that's same that's as your behance? That's my uh, oh, that's Instagram. That's your Twitter. <laughs> oh, that's your Instagram. <laughs> Instagram. Okay, so that's your Instagram. This is this is my handle on behance. <laughs> So it's yeah. a little bit different. This but is Behance, this is Instagram. But on my Instagram is my Behance link too, so. Yeah, all it's connected. all connected. <laughs> uh, so Drew is asking, when I have text, LVTK is always the standard. Can I make another font to new default? Seems like yesterday, we didn't get an answer. Uh, so again, Drew, so there is a trick in XD. It's not obvious. So when you are in XD, uh, maybe you don't know that. It's a good trick. It's a weird behavior. So when you uh, create a new text field, this is Helvetica. So why Helvetica? Because I think it's on all the systems on the planet now. Could be on Mac, Windows, uh, iOS, Android. There it is, is Helvetica. Around. Yeah. And it works. It's easy to read. We are all tired of Helvetica, but it works. And you live in New York. <laughs> you take the the metro, the subway. There so is Helvetica, Helvetica everywhere. Helvetica. Yeah. Yeah. This is the city of Helvetica. <laughs> Although this is Swiss. So uh, the trick is that if you start changing uh, this and say, now I want to use Acumen Pro 36 with a blue color, I select this. The next time I will create a text field, so I think the shortcut is T. This is still blue. Here we go. So it will keep actually what was previously selected. So now if I select this text field, the black one, and I use the text tool, here I am. Okay, this is uh, taking the style from this block. The other method that you can do is that when you have a new uh, uh, text style, open the assets panel, create a new character style, and before typing, you can select it, and then this is my style, or you can type, and then select the character style. But it's very important to, to understand that uh, if you don't select anything and start typing, this will be a Helvetica, okay? So make sure to select something and you start typing. Uh, Tazir, if you want to do animations in XD, today the only thing you can animate are transitions between screens in the prototype uh, mode is that possible with shapes as well curious i'm not sure what you want to do with shapes uh you should check the symbols what is the symbol maybe it will help you i'm not sure what you're talking about oh shape styles i see what you mean it's uh, a good question let me try first i don't think so No, so um, you should duplicate the shape and maybe scale it, transform it, but no, it doesn't uh, copy paste the, the shape style. Not curious, but it's a good feedback. Actually, yeah, it would be smart to reproduce this behavior for shapes. This is maybe uh, discussed on the uh, user voice, which is our website where we discuss all the features. So we have uh, 
two different category views mm -hmm. or service views going here. I do have. I'm gonna delete this and make that into. The and just uh, Shabri Raj is asking, where can I find tutorials for XD? Uh, the first time you launch XD, there is a welcome screen. Like if you do, uh, maybe you can show file yep. new. Just do file uh, new. Yeah, here. And uh, there is a resources uh, paragraph, and at the bottom, I think uh, the tutorials. second one is learn and support. Yeah, yeah, and begin tutorial. Yeah, so there is a tutorial in XD actually, and also we have tutorials on Adobe.com. Okay, so you click on the link uh, learn, and learn and support, and you will access all the free uh, tutorials recorded by uh, experts on Adobe.com. And this is also even showing the prototyping, right? Or yeah, the prototyping. Yeah, I think it invites yeah, it you does. to. Yeah. There we go. That's how I yeah, like it's a prototyping. So you can actually really dive into this. It's a good uh, onboarding experience. Yeah. Let's see what is happening. Yeah, the three magical steps if you want to learn XD: make sure to understand how to design, how to prototype, and how to share. These are the three main blocks. Okay, design, prototype, share, and then you're good. Oh, then it's saying there is no eyebrows category. Oh, oh my god. Right. Eyebrows. Oof. I mean, it potentially could live underneath styling, but no. <laughs> it they could also be its own little thing. Own thing. Yeah. Did yeah, anybody work on the icons? Everything. Did we get any submissions for iconography? For uh, icons? I don't think so. Like, I uh, guess we let us know. Did we get some icons? Or? Yeah. <laughs> we have another logo solution. Oh, we yeah. have a logo. Do okay. we want to bring up the logos and take a look at it? Or okay, I can show you the new logo. Yeah. Oh, I, I recognize this logo. Oh. Ah. This no. logo. We remember this logo. <laughs> that was very like close call it's yesterday. Version, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, this too, that was a very nice logo. And the issue is that today we, we don't see scissors anymore. Yeah. We see something else. Yeah, yeah. that, that yeah. logo is ruined for life. Yeah. <laughs> it's... <laughs> destroyed by the chat yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, that's cool. And then we check if we have new uh, prototypes. I'm gonna just get going a little bit on the talent profile. So I'm just gonna clean up all this iconography around. So we have two uh, new prototypes. Yeah, let's one, take a look. One that has nothing to do with the entertainment. Oh, that's fine. But it's fine. It's funny yeah. because it's in other language. Yeah. Directivo. AT and T. Yeah, I want the ninety nine uh, plan. Oh, maybe this is entertainment in a way. You know, I select a plan for AT and T. I mean, it looks very professional. A lot of screens. Yeah, forty wow. screens. Oh my god. But thanks for sharing. At least you are working in XD. That's and it fine. makes sense. It's always hard when you work on an enterprise apps like this. Uh, and then we have Ticket King. See, not Ticketing. Cool. Ticket King. Ticket King. Mm. See that? Onward. I, I like the acceleration point. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you have the energy already. I like the name. Transformers. Yeah, there you go. That's clean. Ooh. Billy Billy Squire. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. Very Any cool. Many thanks, good sir. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> That's nice. It's very funny. I like that. It has personality. Oh, you can change it. Oh my god, you did a lot of screens. Just to do that, you need to create three screens. Um, yeah, yeah. Like three screens, yeah. And all the combinations. And, very and the cool. check-in. Very smooth, yeah. Yeah. Good job. Nice. nice. Hi, Nicola. Yeah, the contest is still on. The theme of the day is entertainment mm. we had about 25 people brainstorming on the theme you know, every morning <laughs> at 7 a.m really? so we're going to do a uh, stroke to get some differentiation from the cover photo Five, or actually even more. Let's make it ten. Let's scale up the whole thing. I'm gonna make it eyebrow category. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Let's uh, expand a little bit on the 
on the categories. Let's see. Yeah, what we can actually add in here is uh, both the barbers or barber and, and eyebrows. Eyebrows, yeah. yeah. I feel like that's something that's missing. So Ali is asking, is there a way to add paragraph spacing in text boxes? I don't think so. You can add a, like control the space between the, each line. Uh, what's the name? The leading? Or, yeah. I don't remember the name in English, but uh, between paragraphs, no. Jules is asking why the XD icon is a round, has rounded corner and the rest of app icons are squared because it's part of the next generation of application, uh, which are uh, cloud-based and uh, developed with a new framework, a new stack, uh, where performance is uh, really key. Um, so you have XD, which is part of this next generation of apps. You have Adobe Dimension. And next week, we will have graphic designers working on packaging, and they will use Dimension. We have the new Lightroom CC, which is cloud-based. So yeah, we have a few apps uh, part of this new generation, and they have been released uh, last week at Adobe Max. So will they all be around in next year? Uh, no, Brian. So like, uh, unless we decide to, uh, I don't know, to take InDesign and uh, rebuild InDesign from scratch with this new stack, maybe. pull down my wireframe and just make sure I get all the same information down here from the stuff I did yesterday just to compare so the blurb and well the biography and then the rating and then the CTA for booking as well We have a new logo entry yeah. also. Cool. Glam. Nice. Looks like a um, editorial logo a little bit. Like yeah, the magazine. It's mm. nice. No, it's cool. I mean, it fits the context. Yeah. Yeah. That's very nice. Good job. It was a uh, ten of. Yep. Good job, ten of. Oh. Shoot. And the same with this. I'm basically filling up the wireframes from the city. Yeah, I mean, we're <laughs> oh. literally skinny wireframes at this point, but I think we're gonna. I should go. We're gonna try to change a few things around, like the rating stuff. I think we want to reconsider a little bit the way we're displaying so it. So we have the Equipoise uh, designers asking how to make a dotted line in XD. Aha! Dotted line. Is that even is that possible? I will show you a trick. Wait. So this is, I guess, this wasn't like a high priority for the team. So today, when you use the line tool, you can only do like a straight line. Okay, there is a no choice. Hmm. But what I would do is that I would do a, a dash, right? That's the name. Just one single dash. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. Just a dash like this. You select the dash. You do repeat grid, and love the repeat grid. Yeah, and you can control the gutter, so the spacing. Boop. And now. Here we go. Another use case for the repeat grid. Yeah, I like how simple it is to kind of just change the gutter yeah. between stuff. So good. It's amazing. Uh, let's add a few more of the stars. I'm going to use the repeat grid. <laughs> the stars are, are cool. Yep, repeat grade. <laughs> and then. Following. The gutter. Yep. 
Yay. So that's the same <laughs> thought process basically as uh, as what we just did with the dashes. So almost full reading. She's almost almost perfect, but missing the last star. So Juju Sim, yeah, with circles is the same. Just draw one circle, repeat grid, and you will have yeah. a dotted line with circles. Basically, be uh, be like this. Yeah, I mean this kind of works for everything, and the beauty of it is that you can change the gutter in any yeah. any direction you direction. want, which is very powerful and just saves you a lot of time as far as aligning stuff. So. When we did the calendar yesterday, uh, that's exactly what we did. Um, which we're gonna get back to now, because we're gonna start to to comp up the calendar again soon. But mm. uh, yeah, we kind of we basically use that technique here when we're doing the the whole month. Uh, check the ability, and then we start in the portfolio. The first portfolio piece would be potentially, let's say, haircut. Uh, Bean, you want to edit letter spacing and light head in Adobe XD? Okay, let me check. It's here. So when you select uh, text, Bean, if you select text, it's here. Letter spacing or kerning. And. Uh, line space in the text options. Is there a way to change the size or position of individual pictures in a repeat grid? So Janet, when you create a repeat grid, uh, it's, it's really a base, so you can really dispatch it on the screen. If you want to isolate one element or just one element, you have to break the grid. So you right click and you say ungroup uh, the repeat grid. And then you can work on each element. And you can nest re uh, repeat grids too. Yeah, good point. Yeah. You can have a repeat grid inside a repeat grid. and it will become very messy. So make sure to use the layers panel to understand the structure of uh, what you are working on. Yeah, this character style. Yeah. Last quiz shape for the win. Yes. Here we go. <laughs> so getting in a review. Actually, I think we should have the thumbnails first. So let's bring this in. Okay, we have 40 minutes left. Ooh. Yeah, we're gonna have to start Again. prototyping soon as well. Um, oh, yeah, yeah that's right. just doing that. But then. So this would just be, uh, we don't even really need. Uh, oh, I mean, potentially this could be a name of, uh, of the haircut. I mean, of course, this would be. Uh, oh, we need to learn how to use the repeat grid. Thanks to a tutorial on Linda with Paul Trani. Oh, good. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. You have uh, lynda.com if you want to find tutorials on XD. YouTube also. You have YouTubers such as Densky. Uh, even Paul Trani also is on YouTube. Paul Trani will be with us, by the way, next week as a host. He will be hosting with me next week nice. uh, with the graphic designers. The masking is just phenomenal. I agree, Julius. Super easy, super powerful, and again, it's non-destructive. I just want to show it again because I like it. <laughs> okay, I will show you again. Okay, let me create a new artboard. There we go. Because when you create a mask, again, it can be really any shape. So we do something like this. Break it several times. Yesterday we did a pin, remember? Yeah. Let's fine. do the pin again. That and was easy. Uh, we do some uh, pathfinder here. Go and we say exclude. No, not this one. This one. Okay. 
So now my pin is uh, transparent actually, the pinhole. And uh, we will combine it with a picture. So we open my credit card libraries, drag and drop the picture. Oh, well, it's a huge picture coming from stock. Okay, so what you do is that you select both and in the object menu, mask with shape. Okay. So if you double click, you can change the position of the image. But also your mask, again, this is not destructive. So you, at any time, you can still work on the mask, which is really super powerful. You can say, okay, I want to change it here. Double click, change the image. It's really one of the best way, like without leaving the tools, you don't have to deal with the layers and everything. So here I change the image. If I double click on the shape, one more time, I change the mask. Super powerful. So John, just wrapping up on the reviews and uh, the categories. Actually, I'm gonna restyle this. I'm gonna have smaller typeface for um, for the reviews. This is less important. And then do haircuts, which is the category launcher, forty. this and then we can start to take a look at designing up the actual calendar <laughs> that we're wireframing yesterday yeah uh, this could just be expand cover photo if you want to include that state mm -hmm. and probably also include a uh, a close button if you have that I don't think we have that so I'm gonna open this asset in Photoshop Invert it. Save it out. That's all white. What are you looking for? Mm -hmm. Looking for an icon for him. Uh, oh wait, probably save this somewhere else. Let's see. We have a new prototype. Oh, um, nice! It's called My Music. So here I can click on Login. Uh, so I think it's by Munir. Um, so uh, Munir, an advice when you have a button like this, it's better to uh, do the hit uh, area, like the hit box, directly on the on the rectangle, you know, with the rounded corner, and not on the text. It would be much easier for the users to to try a prototype. Discover new music you love, yeah. Nice typography. Enjoy your music. Okay, let's see. Oh my god, I need to enjoy David Guetta. Seriously? <laughs> the French DJ? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's all about him. Okay. Go back, yeah. I like the navigation, it's cool. Works well. I can go back. Oh, hamburger, my account, music. Nice, yeah, eight screen experience, good job. Nice. Very clean, looks really good. Good job. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, just to refresh up on, wait, oh. Siri, <laughs> Siri, stop. Um, Kevin is asking, do you know any good books about design, UX design, UI? Uh, 
We have a few books at home actually, but they're more we graphic usually, design. We than usually do like more of like uh, videos and YouTubes to be okay. honest, than like books because there's so many good videos out there. Yeah, talking about. But we definitely have some books at home that is really inspiring as far as graphic design yeah. and always like when you work with UI design, it's a nice thing to get inspired by because it's so yeah, relatable. Sure. Um, do you have a name of like we have the neon? I really like the neon books yeah. that we have. The neon Those series. are like more inspirational, just like a yeah. But even the way they use topography and everything, mm -hmm. we can uh, we can get some links going for uh, for the audience in uh, in the chat for the books. Maybe if yeah. you want to look. And them if up. you know books, also in the chat, feel free to share. You know, if you recommend some uh, design books. Linda, is there a way to create a link to an outside source? No, Linda. Uh, you hold the links, you stay in the prototype. It's just to jump from one screen to another one. Start the prototype or is this, uh, <laughs> yeah. Mikey, if you want to share again your link, Mikey, we can we can show it. Although you already won because <laughs> so you won't be eligible for a new Creative Cloud subscription. But yeah, if you want some feedback from uh, yeah, Madison and Rolf, they will be happy to give some feedback. Oh, thanks, that'll be live. I don't know who you are. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, they want to get some feedback on this app. It's coming. Chris! Okay, so watchable. Uh, and you see this tab, I think. Oh, I suspect yeah, this will be the new iPhone, uh, iPhone X, iPhone X, X yes. mess. This will be a and mess. And like on the bottom too. Starting next week. Oh yeah, it's on the bottom so too, weird. there is an like. icon here. So is it the app? Uh, Swiss screen? What type of feedback do you want? <laughs> Mikey? Mikey, keep working on On the logo it. maybe? What's your it's not updated. Ah, oh, make sure to update, Mikey. Press update. Let me know when it's updated. We, we can wait. We just take a break. Yeah, wait for Mikey. Okay. Wait, just wait for Mikey. <laughs> there is no the button. Try refreshing. Okay, I'm trying. Two, two, two. Mm -hmm. um, maybe it's my cache. Okay, let's try. This. No. Nope. Sorry. I try to refresh later, okay? And if I see that there is a change, we will show it again. Mark, you want us to review your portfolio? I will check it first, Mark. If I don't like it, we won't review it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's hard. Oh, Mike, you're good. From it's Israel. Like Yeah, we don't have to review it. It's too good. <laughs> don't have any feedback. Make sure to check Mark's uh, portfolio. People watching, click on his head in the chat because he he's very good at presenting a project and history. You know, like starting with the, the tagline, the typography research, the core theme. You know, sharing some screens, the website. Nice. Yeah. Very nice way to share our work. Mm. Yeah, it looks I'm complete. sure it will inspire a lot of people. Good job. Michael, you didn't hit the appreciate. <laughs> I will follow Mark. <laughs> and I will appreciate. Although next time, Mark, you should use XD. Just saying. <laughs> but, <laughs> but thanks for sharing. Seven. Oh, so, ah, okay. No, you all want us to review your portfolios. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay, let us know that first in the chat, like if we do in Adobe Live shows, in the future shows, special moments to review portfolios. Is this something that is you think it's valuable for, for you? Is this something you want to see or you don't care? Let us know in the chat. How do you feel about having the guests reviewing your portfolios during the show? That would be cool. Do you think it's cool? It's useless? It's just to show off or it has really some value? Should we prototype? Let us know what you <laughs> think. Yeah, we need to dive into prototype actually pretty soon. So yeah, you have 28 minutes. Ooh. But prototype is fast, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's just it, that's the power of this tool. It's the fact that it's okay, so easy. Brian. It's like five minutes. I think I'm mistaken. That would be great. That would be awesome. It's okay, so okay, I will think about something, and I think it would be great too, actually. So uh, it's a good idea. Okay, only positive feedback. Okay, so we'll, we we will work on something and. And do it for the next times. I need to think about the format, how to mm -hmm. deal with it, because uh, we, I don't want it to be frustrating because we, we can get like 300 people <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> think, review my portfolio and we only review five. So I need to find a way to make it fair. Look at that guy. It's getting yes, Glenn, I know this that. Glenn is good. Glenn is good. Good feedback every time. I like it. Mark's website is super cool too. Oh. Yeah. I think Mark is very cool. <laughs> we should move to the US, Mark, so we can invite you to Adobe Live. It's rare, it's very far. Time. Oh, Mark, let us know if you visit the US, you know, next year. Make sure to let us know and maybe you can become one of our guests because your work is very good. Also, something important, if you know, uh, <laughs> yeah, because Rolf is uh, still learning how to count, you know, Karen. Yeah, oh my, yeah, that's probably Oh, no, wrong, it's because Rolf is superstitious. <laughs> yeah. So you didn't add we the number 13. 13. Oh, yeah. It's oh, like in US scary. hotels. I can't, yeah. <laughs> no, no, you, can, not, no, no. you don't want to book any barber on the 13th. It's we gonna, don't have that day available. Let's let your trod, you know, that's dangerous. Okay, yeah. Mark, Mark if you visit the US, let us know. Um, um, also, if you um, if you know some uh, like designers, UX designers, motion designers that you really like on Behance and that are in North America, feel free to suggest some names in the chat. Also, we we keep track of, it, of all your suggestions. So, oh, I really like the work of this illustrator. I would like to uh, see uh, her on Adobe Live. Just share the link and. Uh, we will check the work and see if we can invite uh, these amazing artists. Yeah, you got the distance going there too. I like that in the feed. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing the vibrant based on the vibrant. That is a leg up. I don't even have that. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing totally different stuff right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's good because you're filling in my blanks. All the stuff that I forgot from the wireframes you're you're capturing. Hmm. Mm. Oh, I don't have the calendar though. Oh, that's fine. It's coming up. Option. Call Maddy Smith again. Oh yeah, good idea, Jordi. Okay, we will. I really like Matt and Travis. Oh, yeah, you know, Travis is so busy. I mentioned his name yesterday. He works for Google now. He's a UX designer at Google. And uh, he's so busy. <laughs> it's very hard to get him now. I try, every time I try. Like, Travis, can you come? He's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So actually, there will probably be another uh, Adobe Live event in November about UX design. I will try to get Travis. You, sh you can tweet uh, him now. Send him some messages. Travis, we want you on Adobe Live in November. Same for Matt. You can spam uh, spam them now. <laughs> you have my uh, authorization. Do you guys want to try to uh, potentially prototype a little bit of the 
Oh yeah. With the stuff you have going. Um, Looks since great. I have like most of the flow here, I think I'm just gonna do it from here. Um, let's see. I'm actually gonna delete some of these early explorations for the splash screens, so we're not using all of them. And um, and yeah, if you guys want to pick a favorite for the splash screen, you guys want to go with, or even have some uh, recommendations for uh, for the visuals of what we can display. Maybe it's like something that is hybrid, a split screen between a girl and a boy, a male, female, or if we, this could potentially be an animation circling between different uh, different genders. Yeah. Um, definitely let us know and we can uh, include that in our prototype. Mm -hmm. uh, for now I'm going to start with, um, let's just start with this one I guess, call it Splash. I'm going to put these other ones outside. <laughs> Wait, not all of them. These two, move them out. Get this one in. And then go into Prototype, tab on top. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, get stylized, we just basically connect to this screen. So I'm just gonna drag it onto the Explore screen. And uh, the solve is fine, it's just gonna be a simple fade. And then I guess if you hammer that out, it's gonna immediately show, show that transition. And then if you were to select um, the thumbnail for haircuts, it will lead you into the feed for haircut, which is something I actually need to remake this into. Let's see. So let's just take away these thumbnails. I'm gonna jump back into the sign and just clean that up first. In about 10 minutes, I will show you more prototypes and you will have to choose. Yep, that, that sounds, sounds good. good. Copy this individual. Wait, I want all the stars with me as well. Let's just take this photo. Right uh, Kevin is asking, have, do you have experience with uh, design sprints? Design sprints? Um, yeah, I mean, as far as the research process goes, um, a lot of time there is, you know, a strategist involved that is doing a lot of the actual research work. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, in some cases we do. In some cases, a lot of the research and even, yeah, I'm kind of like dropped into the process as the design is kicked off. Um, so, I mean, it really depends on the project you're working on. Mm. Sometimes we apply the design sprints and sometimes you're kind of just diving straight into doing comps. Um, so yeah, it, it really depends on the client and agency you're working with. What about you? How is uh, how is that for X? Do you guys do design sprints or? Yeah, we do have like different... Research like, and everything? Research sprints. And like it depends on the projects, you know, because some, some projects you just like hmm. start and like... Yeah, it really depends on the... So what would be the, the yeah. value of a design sprint, sprint, in your opinion? Like, when it's good to have a design sprint, when it's... Uh, I guess the if, benefit? Yeah, and the benefit is that you can discover a little bit more about, um, I guess, the audience and uh, do a little bit of market research and, uh, and cross-check a lot of things as you're designing. Mm -hmm. um, so you get to know a little bit about the challenges as you're designing instead of doing it blindly. Uh, which is definitely a bonus. Um, but yeah, again, it really depends on... If you're doing something that you've never done before for a client and an industry never done before, I think design sprints are very handy. Um, if you have a lot of experience with uh, with the specific field you're designing for, it might not be needed. If it's like a job that you feel is repeating. Mm. Um, so yeah, I it really depends on the nature of the of the work you're doing and or the specific project, yeah. On the prototype, let's see. It's gonna lead into <coughs> the feed, which you can basically just slide in. Um, 
I can click into a profile. So I'm gonna skip the step the icons for now and then uh, just gonna use the photography and then that's gonna lead into the feed and then that's gonna lead into the profile. And then the next one will be a book, a check availability, mm -hmm. <clears throat> which will lead into the calendar. Again, that could just be a slide, that's fine. You can also prototype this and just, you know, if you're clicking on the image, it's gonna expand into this. And then also maybe include in the sign the close button. Where is icon review? What do you mean? You shared some icons? Oh yeah, if people Not have sure. any icons they made, let's uh, definitely yeah. bring it up. That'd be nice to see. I don't think we got some. Not sure. No, okay. Let's just take a quick look at what we have in prototype for now. So I have, I uh, get stylized the categories or services and then the feed and then the profile and then we also added like if you're clicking on the cover photo it's just gonna mm. expand full screen and nice. uh, going back this might actually be more handy to have like a kind of like going from top to bottom kind of slide I guess instead of like sliding left and right uh, check availability which leads to the calendar and this is kind of where we left off When you're at the calendar, you're selecting a date. Actually, the proceed button should lead you into the time picker. And I'm actually just gonna revise this at the same time and make this slide up. Actually, let's do down. And then this could be sliding up. Just to make it feel a bit more natural. Let's just test that really quick. So we have a lot of feedback on portfolio reviews, so yeah, we definitely include that in the program. Oh wait, I need to have a back button here. Let's see. There we go. Oh, come on. Move it back to the profile screen, and that would slide up. Okay, let's uh, that's it. <clears throat> okay, click on the profile, and then open the cover photo. Closing the cover, uh, cover photo. Nice. Check availability, and then also going back. Okay. Check availability again, and then proceed, and then we are at the time picker. So again, yeah, this is extremely easy as far as just mm -hmm. literally just dragging links between the artboards you have and then the whole job is kind of done by the tool itself. Um, and and actually something that uh, a lot of people don't know is that when you have the preview open, you can keep prototyping behind. Oh, really? Yeah. And it's updating live? Yeah. Yeah, nice. And if you select a screen and click on preview, it will directly jump to the screen. So you don't have to start from the scratch. Nice. Yeah. But here, if you add a link, you don't have to close the window. Like, so I'm going to add a link right here now and test that. Oh, yeah, OK. Um, yeah, let's say he taps on 26. Maybe well, he can, yeah. Well, yeah, if you tap on 26, maybe that's also yeah, going to the screen, which would be try. the same behavior. And then, yeah, yeah. right away. <laughs> Love it. It's handy. Um, I'm just going to keep this open at the same time. Additional services, all of this would lead to the same screen, which is the confirmation. Uh, booking confirmation. And I love the notes. Yeah. Uh, as well. uh, confirm would lead you to. So this is what we talked about in the very beginning, uh, our first day when we were working on the wireframes and the napkin sketches, that we wanted to do the onboarding um, once oh, yeah. we display all the content uh, or serve up all the content for the user. Um, so 
once you are actually at this step and you're actually you went through the whole booking process and you got a confirmation screen at that point before we ask for the payment we want the user to either sign in or sign up so the confirmation screen right here would lead to um, sign up and then if you already are a existing user mm. you can just click on sign in and it will lead to the sign in screen yes. And if you are signing up, it would just lead you to the next uh, uh, sign up screen, which allows you to create a password and select gender, which is actually not a thing anymore. So I'm going to take that away and just keep it with the. Uh... Oh, look at that. You can actually see it's changing as I'm moving in here, too. Nice. <laughs> it is really live. <laughs> <laughs> That's not kidding. Um, Okay, so sign in is leading into the sign in screen, and then sign up will lead back into the sign up screen. And you could do this live on your phone too, yeah. If you connect, yeah, your you iPhone. can sync it with the. Uh, yeah. You have the phone icon up here, which allows you to sync to the device or preview on the device, which is extremely handy because then you really can see and experience the readability of the copy you're using and the size of everything and how it feels for the index finger to tap on and so forth. All the CTAs you're having. Um, so once you're signed up and click on proceed, it would lead you down to the uh, payment page, which would be up here. And the same thing for sign in. And as you are connecting the stream, the screens, maybe we can review some uh, yep. prototypes, and then we'll ask you to choose uh, what is it? Yeah, for sure. Favorite one. Yep. So we have a new one, which is movie with uh, some popcorn in the background. New arrivals. Okay, take uh, Plane of Apes. I have the uh, EMDB review with the cast. Mm, nice. Very nice. This is clean. Yeah, very clean. Three screens, but we we get the intent. It's very good. We have the uh, entertaining cinema, I guess. <coughs> Password. Here we go. See more. Yo. Oh, calendar. and the calendar using the repeat grid. Good mm. job. Tickets. Wow, 16 screens. And I can select wow. my seats. Oh, this cool. is beautiful. Yeah. Check out. Getting your and I have ticket. the QR code. Yeah. Beautiful. This very is nice. really good. That I like the fact that the QR code are shaped as a ticket. And yeah, it's yeah. really touchy aesthetically. Very, complete. very nice. Good job. We have My TV to track your TV shows Games of Thrones, Stranger Things, Star Trek, Add to Favorites. And we can add another show. I had to deal with a. Uh, oh, it's looping. Oh, that's funny. Good. So because it's looping, yeah, yeah. Um, the designer had to do all the combinations. That's why we have nine that's screens. Nice. Yeah. And my music, we already saw this one. Okay, so I want you to choose. Okay. Between movie with the popcorn and cinema. Let's see more. And yeah, and I think we got the. Oh, 26. It's exactly like your, your prototype. It's funny. The place and the ticket with the QR code. Entertainment. We had uh, My Music with David Guetta. Yeah, friends. UI. Friends. <laughs> we had this, which was more enterprise. We had uh, Ticket King yeah, on Wall, cool. which was very funny. Yeah, it's very clean. I like that. We had uh, a lot of movies during this show. You can book uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. That's clean too. <coughs> and Fear the Fears. Uh, 22 screens on this one too. Wow. With a lot of uh, editorial content. Yeah. And uh, check out if you want to order to check out using your thumb thank you and this one was it uh, with you yeah Ooh. the smart tv real madrid <laughs> okay, it was with you at the beginning of the show so this is more a uh, windows tablet experience i guess the one we just uh, saw yeah exactly yeah. uh it's a bit like a on the Surface Pro, for instance, yes, yeah. we will have this type of experience. 
This one was a game. <laughs> I mean, it's entertaining, so it it falls yeah, into the fine. entertainment category. And all sinners, yeah, it's uh, when I had the opportunity to be featured with yeah. uh, Taylor Swift. <laughs> yeah, you were the celebrity. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm also with uh, Britney. <laughs> <laughs> with uh, They're in the right pocket. Kendall Jenner. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I oh, hope I'm not in the gossip. gossip. <laughs> okay. And there are nine screens, so I wonder why I'm missing something. Oh, it was the loading oh. screens. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I remember oh, the yeah, onboarding that was, was cool. uh, I like the elements cool. breaking in here. It's yeah. uh, visually very nice. Yeah. Oh, this is harder even than the last two. Are days. we picking one now or waiting still? You have to pick now. You have to pick now. Oh no. You can pick two because then it's always a mess. Ay, 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 ay. I really like the one that had ticket and you could have choose the seats and stuff. Yeah, this, this one. one. Yeah, this one, yeah, was, this yeah. one was very complete. It's very complete. That looks very good. Yeah, and also I like the purple and yellow color. Yeah. The color uh, scheme is nice. Yeah, it feels like talking. Calendar. Show. Yeah, it's like a, it's really a whole complete journey. app. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's very cool. Send it I would choose that. I'll pick that too. So this You're one, picking yeah. two, right? Yeah, you can pick two. So this one, congratulations. Oh, Very good job. Good job. Nice. Uh, okay, let's. Uh, can we bring up the other ones really quickly again? Yeah. So we had uh, movies. We had uh, this one also at the TV shows. We had the uh, music app with uh, David Guetta. Mm. Ticketing, uh, Ticket King. That's nice. Ticket King. He's getting my little name there. I like the name. Yeah. Yeah. Ticketing. Ticket King. Oh. We had Nearby also. This and one is nice. Too. The one about the fears. I like the. That's very clean. It's clean and yeah. I like the icons. Hmm. Ticket King with this one. It's not hard one. All of this one. Yeah. Not sure about the connection with entertainment. But oh, yeah. But I like this jug. <laughs> yeah, they got the address right. Yeah. Uh, aesthetically, it looks really good. Um, yeah, but it's like, it's not entertaining. But if it's really. not on the team, it might be a little bit tricky. Um, There's a video game and all scenes. Oh, this, so. this one is nice too, it's a loader. And the elements breaking into the photography. It's yeah. nice. Um, and there was the, uh, the tablet experience. This is always very hard, Michael, because they're all very good. <laughs> yeah. That's the reality. Um, yeah, it's tough. It is really tough. To get me. And again, like all the submissions are very good. Yeah, so that's so, so good. It's so hard to pick one. Um, so don't get offended when yours is not picked because they're all very, yeah. very nice. <laughs> very tough. Uh, do you want to go for what was the name of the one which was breaking in with the elements? I mean, oh, this is so very clean. The, yeah, this is clean too. Yeah. Which one? The, this one. I like this one. I like the fact that it's trying to play with shapes and topography. Yeah, it has, it has a an nice animation, animation on the loader, there. which is very nice. Oh, okay, you want to um, highlight this? Yeah. yeah, and you're celebrating. And I'm inside. It, so. <laughs> and you're on it, it too. Exactly. That's a big to. bonus. So. There's some gossip about my <laughs> Michael in there. That's that's a bonus. I'm gonna read that afterwards. Um, go for let's this, go one. With this one. Let's go for oh, this okay. one. Yeah. Good job. Good, good job. job. Again, all of them are very amazing. Good job. Really good job to everyone. To be honest, it was yeah, very good. Super impressive. It's very creative. <laughs> amazing work. Keep it going. Yeah, and uh, so we have five minutes left. Yeah. Maybe we can uh, so recap. Wrap on the prototype. If you want to yeah. The mod, and again, this is a prototype you will share on your Behance yeah. profile. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna wrap up on this and then uh, put uh, create a project and share it with uh, Adobe as well. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the source files are gonna be available, so you can grab the source files. Yeah, and check and, uh, the structure with the mood board, everything. Yeah, and everything so is yeah. gonna be in there, so you can kind of dive into and watch a replay and maybe try to reproduce everything. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Awesome. Uh, so we left off on the checkout process here, which is allowing you to fill in your card information. One thing I want to add in the design really quickly is just the um, ability to scan your um, scan your card. Uh, 
Maybe this could also be just a C CT underneath here, actually. Scan. So if you're tapping on that, you would just uh, allow it to scan the card. Wait. 16, make it blue. Hey. <laughs> Get away. Hey, you. And just maybe also keep the Vanguard, actually. Make it 20. Good job, Dane. And then back into prototype. So from here, this would just lead into the Tinker screen. Uh, the Tinker screen would also have a um, have a map, which is not seen here right now. Oh, okay. So just can actually get that in there really fast as well, and then go through the prototype. Close this for now, it's taking up a little bit of real estate. Awesome, so make sure you have to follow Medicine Wolf on Behance, uh, also the Adobe Live Team uh, Behance accounts because uh, they will publish the, uh, the projects and uh, yeah, this will be uh, this will be great. <laughs> Let's do a screenshot of the map. Here we, go. here we are, we are I here. Am, I'm gonna I'm gonna steal this again. Yeah, yeah this is a good Adobe. idea. <laughs> Snapshot, and then I guess that went to my uh, desktop somehow. Uh, <laughs> somewhere, it's somewhere. Yeah, it's somewhere in here. Let's try to <laughs> find it. It's a lot of fancy stuff here. Let's see. Oh yeah, my <laughs> desktop is always a mess. You know, that's just a part of you know being a designer. Okay, here I found it. I'm gonna just drop yeah. it in here, and then scale a bit down like so. Actually, I'll just do it like that. Keep it one to one. Send it back. And shift command M, mask it in okay. there. To mask with a shape, and that's it. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And then I think. So I'll say thank you to Madison Wolf. Oh. A good job. Thanks for sharing. Thank you so Thanks much for, coming. for having us. Yeah. It was amazing. It's really fun. To be yeah. Here. Yep. Good job to the community because they, they found the name. Yeah, they, they, did the, they did most of the. Most of the. <laughs> they did the hard work. Yeah. We just we just made a prototype. Which yeah. Is here. And they um, also shared uh, amazing prototypes today. I mean, again, on the theme of entertainment. It was very impressive. Um, so, yeah, thanks again for coming. Thanks I hope you enjoyed the us. experience. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. It was fun. Yeah, and thank you all for watching. We will still be live uh, right after this show. We will welcome uh, Nick and Ian. They will uh, work on this uh, Ghostbuster, right? Yeah. Every day we'll make the joke. Uh, <laughs> the Flappy Bird uh, video game. UI and it will be hosted by Samantha. She's back. Yay! Thank you, Sam. Thanks again. Thank oh, you. it's the last day. Oh, I'm so sad. Uh, so too short. So too short. Too short. We need another way. They will be back. They will be back on Adobe Live for sure. <laughs> for sure. Okay. Bye, everyone, and see you bye. on behance.net slash live in about five minutes. We will be live again. Bye, everyone. Bye.